Welcome to this Home Automator Quickie. Today we are going to install the Samba Share add-on for Home Assistant. Let's not delay and let's go for it. You will recognize the server. It's nice and blank right now. This is the Home Assistant server that I use for my tutorials. We are going to go to Settings. We are going to go to Add-ons. We are going to go to Add-on Store and look for Samba. And there we are, we have the Samba share, click on it, and we are gonna hit install. Now, if you couldn't find some of the add-ons that were displayed, and if you can't find Samba share, it may be hidden because your user is actually, or does actually not have access to the advanced mode. So please go and do that before you try this. Okay, so Samba Share is installed. It's a rather small plugin. And Start on Boot is always a good idea. Watchdog is also a very good idea. But we are not going to start it just yet. We have to go into the configurations and we need to give it a username. Now, that username is the username that you're going to be using to map the drive. So, to get into the server. So, I'm going to call it HA and I am going to put a nice strong password. Now, I recommend passphrase and I recommend that you use special characters, numbers, lower letters, capital letters. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. The longer, the better. Okay, we're going to save this. And then we're going to go back to M4. We're going to hit start and go to the log. Now you'll see it starts nearly instantaneously. Why is that? Because as I said, it's a rather small add-on. Okay, from there, we are basically finished here. So we are gonna minimize the screen. We are gonna go straight into the file explorer and we are gonna put the following. 192.168.0.123 because that is our server and the Samba doesn't require to have any ports assigned to it because it has standard ports. And we go enter and it asks us for our network credentials. Now, we know that we changed this to HA and then we used a very, very strong password. So I'm gonna put my strong password in. And I am going to click remember my credentials. And why am I doing that? Because we are going to need to connect to that server regularly. So I'm going to now say OK. And we are in. The folder that interests us the most is the config folder. So what we're going to do is right click. And we are going to go on Windows 11. We are going to go to show more information and we're gonna find map network drive. Now you can map it on any drive that's available to you for, for sure. What I am gonna do is map it to H for home assistant. And I'm gonna click finished. And here we are, it is mapped. And that basically concludes our tutorial. Until next time, this has been a pleasure. And this has been Pascal Parent, and I am signing off.